you know, I woke up today, right? Like, I just woke up. It's like 7 o'clock. And the thing on my mind was, okay, maybe I'm going to have to buy Clover to review. Then I realized, I was like, no. Because this problem, it goes beyond Clover. It's the problem with paid access games on Roblox. Oh my god, I'm going to love this one. It's on it! Oh, bro, I got so much energy now. While I was recording the video, I was sitting there, before I was starting recording, I was thinking like, dang, but maybe my old homeboys don't fuck with me, so they just hit me up and like checked on me, bro. So, hey, check, hey, check on your homeboys, man. Like, you, you gotta make sure they straight at all times. Check on your friends, especially in times like Corona. Now, back to the video, the reason I'm saying paid access games are scams, because look, to be honest, they don't start as scams. When the game become paid access, that's when you should become worried, right? Because a lot of times, these games don't have no following. They don't have no clout, no nothing. You know what they do? They build up hype. They get YouTubers with clout. They get fucking other devs with clout. They build up hype around their game. They make them join a big-ass Discord. And then once, once, they got the, once they got that hype for their game, they suddenly realize, okay, yeah, now we can charge niggas for this, right? Yo, games, okay. Games just didn't happen. Only carry. I'm gonna keep it a buck. The first only carry I boosted up, and then the the, the, the testing, the, like the new fans came out, and I I told y'all I was like, I don't know about that one. But then you had other YouTubers boosting up. Clover. Every time I hear about Clover, somebody tell me about. It, they tell me it's literally just fake rogue. Like that's that's, that's all niggas tell me. They tell me it's it's rogue lineage, but you but, but like you know how in rogue lineage everybody can be great no matter what you roll. Like you can roll any you can roll any race and then be good. These niggas telling me that. In order for you to be good in Clover, you would have got to spend some money or be garbage. So they called it their fake rogue lineage. Karakura was paid access. I told niggas about that. Niggas ain't listening to me, but you had all the other YouTubers boosting it up. Niggas got scammed that way. There's some shit called the Vaz Rim. I don't know about that. The Seven Deadly Sins Holy War was paid access. I told niggas about that. But you know, niggas was boosting up their own game. Or, hey, and then niggas had YouTubers on it. That shit was ass. King of Pirates. King of Pirates is like the biggest example of a game that came out. It was just a scam, bro. That game came out and flopped in the same. That game came out and flopped in five hours. Bro, the game flopped in five hours. After everything just after 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 them weeks and weeks of just sitting there waiting, sitting niggas sitting in game for your game. It ain't even come out yet. And then you get fucking scammed like that. That's fucking crazy. Now the next reason y'all shouldn't buy paid access games because every time a person drops a paid access game and it comes out shit, the owner tells you, well, this is beta slash alpha. Well, you're paying the test. I never said this was the game actually released. And it never fails. Every time a game does bad, them niggas sit there and tell you that this isn't the game released, but you were paying to test the game. So I don't understand. The g Bruh, if a game comes out paid access, don't buy it because it's... They're either trying to get bread off you because they know their game shit and it's not gonna last, right? Because you forced to pay it, you forced to pay to play for it, right? Right? On top of them paying, before probably you paying to pay for it, you gotta fucking do all the shit in game. You know, when, when I pay for a game in real life, like let's say like a sixty dollar game or something, boom, I got my game, I can play, experience it. You don't pay money for a game that you have to test, my nigga. Like, like that is why you have game testers. Could you imagine going in, going in the fucking Walmart, GameStop, or Target? You about to buy a game, and a nigga tell you, "Yeah, um, this game not finished yet, but it's forty dollars. So if you want to test it, I mean, it's forty dollars to test it." But like, what? And and people sit here and say, "Oh, no, 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 no People say and say, but people might say, "Oh yeah, what? Well, what? Well, it's Roblox. It don't matter." I hope y'all realize, like, three hundred Robux, bro. Considering you, you can't use RBX Exchange no more, three hundred Robux is like five dollars. If you buy the full 99 shit, right? Or you could just use a little 80 Robux at a time, which is still probably like four, five dollars, right? So that's five dollars. You wasting five dollars to test the game. And this is crazy, cause it, it, ain't, it ain't like the game gonna get better. If you test, if a lot of people waste their five dollars and test this game, they're not gonna bother to update the game more. They're just gonna say, okay, the game not gonna make it. Let's just not update it no more. Because once you pay for a paid game, Roblox doesn't care. If the title says, oh, testing, beta, alpha, Roblox says, you pay for the game, this was your choice. They, it's, it's like, a game doesn't have to be updated. When, when they drop a game, bro, they can leave it just like that forever. And that's the biggest scam. They know this. And y'all just keep sitting here and getting scammed, bro. This is, like, I'm, mainly right now, I'm kind of talking about Clover, bro, because, oh, my God. When I first played Clover the first time, like, in, in my video way, way back then, 
the cut it wasn't really no question on in the combat you know it, it was fun to play for a clover game at the time you feel me but then people started telling me the game changed and people kept telling me the game changed and that's why i never really tried to get back into the testing phase i was like i don't want no parts in that bro and then you got other youtubers just boosting the game up and shit y'all thinking the game good but it's, it's not and that's how these paid access scam games work once these games have a huge influence on people with whether it be a big ass discord server or influencers by influence i mean like youtubers and other, other people with clout bro they said okay niggas gonna buy my game regardless so i'm gonna make it paid access which is why which is why all these games that's tester they give tester to youtubers they 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 throw tester at youtubers because they already know if a person see a youtuber playing it one of their favorite youtubers they gonna want to play with them or or they it, it might take that youtuber's word over their own or like uh, let's say your friend brought it okay let's say you got person person a right person a watches youtuber b right person a has a friend called person c person c tells person a hey bro this gang garbage but person a loves person but person a loves youtubers b videos and trust person and he trusts person a trusts trust youtuber b over his friend person c so now person a listen to youtuber b person person a has not wasted money and it's crazy because he just wasted money so i keep trying to tell y'all bro don't let these games scam y'all I tried to tell you about Karakura. This video ain't really about Clover. It's more about the paid access games on this platform in general. When it comes out paid access, don't touch it. Especially, especially when that shit say like beta in it. Because when they say beta, that's niggas setting it up to tell y'all. When y'all pay this game, like when y'all pay for this game and it come out garbage, I'm going, like, when the game says beta, that's basically the dev telling you, if this game don't work how I want it to work, I'm going to tell you this was testing you wasted your fucking money. That's all I'm going to say. And, and speaking back on paid access game grand peas this nigga for you has a fucking patreon he he's had nigga he's had nigga breaking bread to get tester and he, after after four years he was gonna release the game on paid access i'm not saying the game bad but i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna tell y'all right now every person i've ever played any person i ever played games with like anybody i know that's in grand peas they all tell me the same thing that grand peas doesn't have content to be fucking 350 robux there's nothing, there's almost nothing in Grand Peace besides like three quests, five devil fruits, three of those DFs don't spawn because like the chance of them spawning is like a fucking 0.5%. So the only DF you're gonna really be finding is fucking invisible, invisible most of the time, and then barrier, barrier very rarely, and then almost the chance of impossible is like magma, ice, and fucking Pika. So y'all y'all have been warned, alright? I've warned y'all about Grand Peace. I really, I want to be wrong. I, I hope for you prove me wrong about Grand Peace because I want to play a good One Piece game. It looks fun to play, right? But just just in case I'm right and I'm spitting, I want somebody to document this. Put put this video in their watch later. You feel me? At this timestamp, Grand Peace is going to be another one of those paid access scam games. You have been warned because this is what's going to happen. He will have been following that game for three, four years, and that game doesn't have three, four years worth of fucking content. This is the content in the game look like he's been working for like a month. And it's crazy. It's 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 so crazy. But it is what it is, bro. So moral of the story, don't get scammed or paid access games. And the games this has happened for is only carry. I'm here when it's happening to Clover, Karakura, the Vaz Realms, the Seven Daily Sis game where everything was ice and King of Pirates. I gotta use y'all brain sometimes, bro. Stop taking everything that YouTube is safe as, as, as like as, as so much word, like as so much face value, bro. Like they're, they're not the fucking holy bible. Think for yourself sometimes. And I, I know a lot of I know a lot of these YouTubers on Roblox. They they audience be young. I'm probably I'm probably like one of the few YouTubers that got like the main portion of my audience is people who actually think with a brain. I think with a brain, like my my audience is like 17 and above. You feel me? But I can't speak for everybody else. And so when everybody else see everybody else's videos, you know, they say, oh, this man is telling the truth. I'm going to go play this game. And then they buy that game. And now they're upset they bought that game. Because you got to remember, bro, these children don't have jobs. They're kids. They get their money from their parents, most likely. And follow them is a lot of money. Especially, especially, as you already know, some parents, niggas, when they, uh, a, a parent will give you $20 to go to the store before they give you $5 to spend on some online game. And y'all know, know this for a fact. So them kids getting that $5, it's, it's, it hurt. It's a lot of work. That's all I want to tell y'all, man. I, I wasn't going to make up your clothes because I never played it, but the clothes situation, it made, me, made me think about the pay access games. Take what I said with a grain of salt. You ain't got to fuck with me. You don't got to know me. But at the end of the day, 
You just gonna leave me for somebody else.